Hello and welcome, my name is Dr. Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2 and we are continuing with episode 4 of our Lotharm playthrough, Legendary Campaign as Tyrion. And where we left off last time, we had just initiated our, uh, or rather we were just about to initiate, our war with Safari. Uh, so let's do that, let's not waste any time. Because they've never liked us since the start and uh, they've got it coming to them. And also they're in a really weak position, Avalorn's at war with them as well. And uh, I'd like to take the White Tower of Hoeth before Avalorn do. I'm actually quite gutted that they lost Tower Fanu. I would have liked to have taken that as well and have a complete set. But we can't have everything we want in life. <clears throat> so, declare war on Safari. Who are at war with everyone, it seems. And before we fight this, I just want to make sure that we get... Uh, Elodin in, in this battle as well. You're bad. There she goes. Let's shove her here. On my way. Speed her up. Kill them. Wow! It does. We can't auto. I thought we could auto resolve this, but apparently not. So I we will fight this manually. It seems to think that uh, we have a chance of losing this, which I sincerely doubt. Could be these talons of Tor, Tor Kalida are giving them a buff to their um, their chances. But I don't really see it that way. They've got we're they're vastly outnumbered uh, by superior troops. Uh, superior troops meaning equal troops, but with higher chevrons, and uh, as well as that, I have better lords too. So I can't see how they could possibly win this. But Understood. it wouldn't be the first time I've made that assumption and lost. So let's see what happens. Cavalry on the right hand side. Have you guys at the back. Guard mode for our archers. Tyrion here. Nobleman here. A bit further right, just so he's making sure to get that morale bonus on everyone on the right hand side. Tyrion. He's got everyone on the left. Excellent. And Elidor will come in from over there. Shove our archers over there. Our archers, our cavalry even. Where is she? There they are. Let's go. Over here as quickly as you can, please, Elidor. And as soon as they... Oh, wow, that's a big range for their archers, right? We're going to move forward a bit. Make sure that our archers are in range of theirs. There we go. Shoot these Lothar and Seaguard, shoot their archers. Try and focus fire as many of their archers as possible. And my cavalry, bring them out of here. That's a pain. Let's move them back. Let's try and uh, take these guys out. Really being a pain in the ass, they are. There we go. That was better. How are the cavalry doing? Caught them, excellent. Let's have you... Uh, actually, let's just bring the chariots straight into the back of these infantry. They do such a good job with it. Let's make sure that they uh, get their chance this time. Uh, you guys, shoot these Illyrian archers. Princess, uh, you help with Rodir, who is completely ignoring our lord. Here we go, good charge coming in from the Ithilmar chariots. That's probably going to rout them straight away. 
And as as we thought, no chance of them winning this. Don't know why I thought there was. Take this fellow out. Make sure that Rodier dies. He's dead. And we win. Not difficult at all. See how much that Ipamar Chariot did. 29. Not too bad. Could have been better. Perhaps too slow with the cavalry. Maybe I should get them engaged earlier. I'm afraid... I don't know why I don't take my troops in. I'm a little bit scared of the Illyrian Reaver archers. I don't know why I'm, I am, though. It doesn't really make sense. But I tend to be wary of them because I know what they're going to do is they're going to skirmish away from my cavalry and they're going to be faster than mine are. So it makes me apprehensive to just charge them in and, and potentially end up chasing them uh, forever and, and getting constantly shot, as can happen. But uh, I think it doesn't matter. I think I should just get my cavalry engaged on their archers as soon as possible because I think we could have done with a little bit less losses there than we took. But overall, still a solid victory. And that's their pretty much their only army wiped out. Uh, we should be able to replenish all those losses in one turn regardless. A glorious victory! A glorious victory. Rodier is dead. Armor-piercing banner for Eldar and getting a level as we hoped. Uh, let's give her Merchant Lord and Draft Master as well. And we can recruit. We can recruit in this area because Port Elisar has a level 2 for us. That's excellent. So let's give her... Actually, before we do that, let's check what we can build. Minus 7. Uh, I'm not interested in that yet, actually. So we will build. We will build... multiple archers. We'll build four archer units. I'm quite happy with that because she's going to be a reinforcing unit. Um, and it'll help with our Siege of the White Tower of Hoth. Just having as many archers as possible just to rain down on them. Let's pass our turn there. We'll take White Tower of Hoth next turn. And uh, we're going, we should be able to hopefully um, confederate with Avalorn later. So uh, I'm not too concerned that they have Torfinu, although it is annoying. Although we could just start a war with them now and get rid of them early. But it'd be a shame to do that because then we don't get the uh, the hero they have who's pretty good. The uh, Alariel. She's, um, she's a pretty strong hero. Very powerfully magical. Legendary Lord. So it's better to confederate with the... the, the um, the nations that do have lords like that. Like, Safari doesn't have anyone, to my knowledge, so it doesn't really matter. But Avalorn certainly do, and uh, is it, I think it's Nagareth. Nagareth um, have Alir, the, uh, the archer fellow, who's also very good. Tradition is maintained. Tradition is maintained. Excellent. Unhappy populace. No, nope, we can't afford that now, and we don't really need influence for a while, so we'll pay for it instead. Fine with that. Servant of the king, ready to serve. Our nobleman can be further upgraded. Uh, oh, we could give him the Ithamar steed. I don't, I don't think we need it. I think we'll wait with that. We'll give him the blade shield, increasing his melee defense, and then we'll move her to. Here, where she should be reinforcing from. And we'll send Tyrion to the White Tower of Hoth. And there we are. And uh, I'm not going to wait, so it doesn't matter. We'll build it as soon as we can, next turn. <clears throat> and I don't know what the public order status is for here. It's good. Okay, it's fine. Excellent, so we won't worry about building or upgrading this. Although we do have the quest to do that for the dragon armor. We need a promenade, so we will build that, actually. Just for the for the fact that we have the quest for it. We get 1,500 gold for doing so as well, so we get half of that investment back. Uh, militia training, excellent one. I think trumpeteers is even better, though. Do not 
Hopefully they're improving. They're not changing. War with Safri is the only good thing they like about us. That's a shame. They're also at war with Krace. Um, I'd prefer not to declare war on right now, but uh, it would make them like us even more. They're also at war with Toralise, who we do want to go to war with, so that's good. Pass our turn there. And we'll attack the White Tower for the next turn, and that will be Safari wiped out. One less baddie on the map. Good stuff. We're expanding really fast this game. I, wouldn't, I mean, Lothurn is one of the easiest campaigns. It's partly why I chose it, just to, as a new YouTube campaign. I wanted something that I knew I could manage um, to kick me off on my new YouTube series. I'm really going to keep the Total War videos coming this time. Um, try and keep it constant. At least at least one a week. I'm trying to set my, my goals low <laughs> so that then I can maintain it. At least one a week. Um potentially and hopefully more but at least one a week that's what I'm going to aim for for the, the near future chaos is stirring that's uh, early <clears throat> I wonder what strength rank we are. 41. 41. Okay, let's do no this battle. Mercy. No mercy indeed. Even in death, we serve okay, so the tactic here is going to be to get, ready to get our archers up to the walls and just absolutely pepper them into oblivion. There are going to be so many arrows that they will not be able to stand on the wall anymore. Because the wall will be just one big pincushion. That's the plan. <laughs> Let's see how we do. Okay, four towers to contend with. Definitely not. It shall be done. Uh, with one unit of you. Oh, that's so annoying. Is that going to block their way? Almost certainly, isn't it? Let's do that. And then Lothurn. Oh, I keep calling him the wrong name. He's Tyrion. <laughs> Guard mode. Oh, let's just get them as close as possible as well. Uh, we'll keep the cavalry back for now. Um, and when Our Lady Elador comes in with her reserve archers, that's when we'll really kick it up a notch and be annihilating them, hopefully. Right, let's do it. Send you to the gates. Send everyone else up the walls. That look good. Nope. There seems reasonable. Holy crap. It's a lot of archers. Why? Has no one changed. No one's changed. Oh, for Christ's sake. There. There. No. Two of you can go up that wall. I don't know why it's bugging out. There we go. Okay, our archers are in position. I would like them to go up the wall as well, if possible. Let's bring our lady in. Let's send them to the front gate so they're not getting targeted, which they are right now. A line of archers. Part a little bit, guys. Part a little bit for the uh, 
ram to come through. <laughs> Instead of both of them going up, no one went up. <laughs> you guys get here. Up the walls, please. Well, how did you end up there? I must have clicked them by accident. Stupid. That's why they couldn't get... Ah, that's why it buggered me up. Well, I kind of buggered the wall climbing up, but it's okay. It's still, uh, it's still okay. I'm still doing fine. We've taken this... We've taken that tower. Excellent. This tower shouldn't take too long as well. We have spearmen climbing up here. You guys got annihilated. And our second line of archers have arrived. And this should finish the gate for us, I'm hoping. Princess of Althuan. Wow, that that uh, that um, lord is absorbing so much of the fire by standing there. Uh, can you come and get up this? Get on there, uh, Tyrion. Up the wall, dude. Okay, this is going a lot better, and we've taken all the towers are now ours. Good stuff. Look at that. Look at that archer fire. That's what we want. That looks good to me. Fire at Towerden. Okay, you can fire on them now. Oh, god damn. And then, of course... Okay, select all the archers. Move forward a little bit. And then don't fire at him. Fire at these guys or something. I don't know. I might even hold fire for now, you know? Oh, here we go. Perfect targets. I ran out of ammo. I'll come forward then. Phoenix Guard. Excellent. All archers fire on the Phoenix Guard. Absolutely the main target. If you're out of ammo, please leave the group so I don't keep telling you to do that so that you don't end up getting yourself killed. Are you winning this fight? Not really. Definitely the Phoenix Guard should be the main target for our, all our archers. That's without question. Oh dear, not good. They took the tower back. Uh, you know what? You guys come through. Oh, they're so nearly dead. We'll be fine. Let's take this tower back, please. Finish off this unit. There we go. It's ours again. Good job. Really important we don't lose any more of these towers. Jurithair! What are you fighting? What is this? Spearman. And we've got them on the run. Lovely. Fight pretty much over on the walls there. Okay, let's bring our archers in. And grip these. Let's grip the last of our archers together. Last? The rest. <laughs> the last of our archers together. Let's do it. Okay, pull back, pull back. There you go. Routing troops, kill them. Tyrion, finish this guy off. Oh, you guys are taking damage from that lord for no reason. Oh, and it's actually taking real casualties from. Uh, let's get you lot on there. Start firing on him as quickly as possible. There we go. Let's take no more casualties from you. There we 
we go. Job done. Jobs are good and decisive victory, and the White Tower of Hoyth has fallen to Lothurn. And our arrow onslaught. <laughs> decisive victory, despite taking uh, quite a few casualties from those towers at the start. But what can you do? It, it's, it's necessary. God, imagine. Imagine when it was real people, how awful that must have been. <laughs> what can you do? We're sending a, an onslaught against the castle. We're going to have people die. It's necessary. <laughs> Jesus. A glorious victory. But there we have it. Luckily, this is just a game. Search this place. <laughs> Immersion broken. Immersion what broken. No. And Safari is no more. Faction destroyed. Uh, what's the building browser for this? Anything special? Library of Hoth. Well, I think this is a wasted building, so we'll get rid of that. Protector of the Ever Queen. Protector of the Ever Queen. Let's put him on his Mount Malhand here. Malandir. I serve the Phoenix King. And now I think it's time for war with uh, Torilise. A great sword. Ah, we have to win a battle. Oh. I have no choice, I have to wait. I didn't have the troops to fight it. I didn't realise that was a battle fight, otherwise I would have waited and sent Tyrion. That's a shame. A triumph for Old Born. Old Born and even worse, I don't know what that looked like, so if I see it again, I'll make the same mistake. That's the worst part. Um, okay, 4,000 gold. Let's build our promenade with that so that we get the quest done. And you know what? I'm, going, I'm not going to destroy that yet, because... I haven't got the income to really be doing it, is the reason why. <clears throat> oh, women Avalorn have really uh they've really done a number and spread very well. Not good for us. What do you guys think about confederating? Nowhere near yet, but you are working on uh <laughs> you are working on a non aggression pact, so that's good. Okay, so Tor Elise is next on the hit list. Hopefully we can go and get Tor Elir before they lose it to Avalorn. Who are growing very powerful, I must say. Let's see what these guys think. No chance of a confederation there either. And if we could take the evil gate... E evil gate? The eagle gate, we could spread out into the west here as well, which would be good. So let's pass our turn there, I think. So we're going to have public order problems in this province as well. Perhaps we can overcome them with um, the public order buildings. I was about to say the commandment, but we can't get the commandment because uh, we don't have the full province. Avalorn messing us up. Uh, it would be really good to take Tor, Tor Lear as well. Um, but again, public order is going to become an issue with all these places because we're not controlling the provinces and on legendary that's a real hamstring but no matter we'll make do with what we can influence minus 10 with Calador we'll take 30 I'm okay with that I don't think that's putting us in any danger losing 10 influence with them can we make it all the way to there? No, we can't, so we'll just sail normally. Can we land? Can't land yet. Fair enough. We'll take Tyrion and we'll put him in the Shrine of Assyrian. No, we can't reach that either. Not even, not even close. Not even close. 
Uh, in that case, I'll just march him straight over here. Just try and reach the uh, Tower of Lycian as soon as possible. To adventure. There we go. Meanwhile, import Elisir. Okay, I'm going to delete this building. Because I'm not going to be recruiting there anytime soon. Uh, and I would rather have another public order building to try and deal with this. So we're going to be minus six overall once we get to the point where it's working properly. So we need to uh, get potentially another promenade. But it's going to be a while before we can afford that. Um, so I'm not sure. We might have to untax this as well. The best we can probably do is minus four. And if we untax it, taxes are worth six. So again, we'll be ending up untaxing it, it looks like. but Which is not ideal, but... Um, it's better than nothing, <laughs> is the way I would look at that. Let's build this growth building. Although we already have the population surplus required to upgrade this, actually. So, next turn I'll be able to upgrade that. And then, once we get level 3 one of these, and potentially, we can also build a wall. So once you build a wall, then I stop worrying about the, the, the public order so much because even if it rebels, it doesn't matter. I can deal with it. But in SFO, you'll see down here, it also matters that your public order is positive because it affects the tax rate of the province. So it is important all around. Um, I'm not going to spend it here because I want to buy this next turn and upgrade here. So... Skip this, skip all this. Rights that we could have. Invocation of Foyth. That's not going to do anything for us at this point in time. We've got plenty of influence. I might spend some of it on making Avalorn our friends. Illyrian was destroyed. Oh dear. Not good. Not good at all. So we uh, we won't be taking any of their cities then. That was uh, that was very quick. War declared between Calador and Cult of Pleasure. Are the Cult of Pleasure on our island? No, it's Avalorn. I can see on the map Avalorn have taken it. So yes, we're in that case. We're definitely going to spend a lot of influence trying to make uh, Avalorn like us. Because I need to confederate with them both to complete a lot of my land and also to uh, <clears throat> uh, to get the legendary lord and just because it will increase our power substantially. So in that case, there's no point in pulling Tyrion over here. We're definitely not going to war with Avalon. We want to um, influence them. So let's improve relations. Let's just I'm just going to use all of it to improve our relations substantially and start making a difference over there. Oh wow, that's a good that is a good building to build as well. We need to look at that. But the first one we need to do is this. Uh, and then we need to stop taxing it. And that puts it to plus 1 as we thought. And what I will then do is I will send Tyrion to Port Elister, and that will solve the public order problems here for now. Um, although I will build a plaza here still, because we can't stay there all the time. And I will put Elidin, I will put her in the Tower of Lycian. Although it might be a good idea to move her over to LSE. Elisali. Elisali? What a name. <laughs> Ellie. We'll just call it Ellie. <laughs> Easier to remember. We won't keep getting it wrong. Move it to Ellie. And uh, also let's stop him being in March stance. And that puts our income up substantially. <clears throat> we can still build something in Lothurn. What would we like to build? Nothing really that's useful. Uh, Shrine of Assyrian would give us cultural advancements. The Archive, which would give us heroes as well, would give us military advancements level 2. 
So there's a lot to be gained by building all of these things. I do love chariots in SF4. I don't really like them in the main game, but in SF4 I feel like chariots are so, so worthwhile by comparison. The archives are good buildings, but lots of good buildings here worthwhile. Gate guard garrison. What do the cultural advancements give us? Waste on movement, construction costs, diplomatic. More diplomatics, but that'll take some time. Not sure if they're that good. All sea regions are made visible to your faction. That's quite good. <clears throat> Construction cost. That that that's not a bad idea early on, actually, is it? Because if you're getting all these construction costs lowered now, over time that's going to save me thousands and thousands of gold. So I may well do that, actually. Orders. Over time, that will add up to a lot of gold. We are Ill at ease. Me too. Uh, next turn, I'll also put Tyrion into the uh, stance that allows him to get four influence per turn, just to because we're turtling right now for a little bit, <clears throat> and we could do as much influence as possible to keep on influencing Avalorn until they're willing to become part of Lothurn. <clears throat> They've declared war on the Cult of Pleasure. It might be a good idea for us to then declare war on the Cult of Pleasure as well. Although, I will see what they want from us for that. Gee, where's Tyrannox destroyed as well? I wonder if that's Avalorn doing that. If so, the chances of getting them to confederate is going to be very low. Just by sheer virtue of them being so powerful, the likelihood of them then confederating with us is, is quite low. <clears throat> Okay, Tyrannac destroyed. Recorder plus three for Tyrion. Excellent. <clears throat> Aha! The Cult of Pleasure are on our lands. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to declare war on them yet, partly because I'd like them to kill Kalidor. Although, would you accept a confederation yet? No. So, um, there's that. Let's check the diplomacy. Sorry, there's Avalorn. Okay. So I have a non aggression pact. Would you have a trade agreement now? Excellent. And now we can see what's going on because they own most of the island. Strength rank 19 versus our 41. So they're doing very well. And 13 settlements versus our... Goodness me. Very well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 settlements and they have 13. So they're doing a lot better than we are. Morathi. Morathi has moved in and made herself at home on the west coast. <clears throat> Not good for us at all. The people are restive. Tyrion, heir of Anaria. Characters and military presence is thirteen. Um, I think I would like. I would like to upgrade this next. So, a couple of turns passed, just to, to really up affect our income as best we can. And it would also be good to get a level 3 harbour. There's lots of stuff we can build that will, will really benefit us. We can also upgrade all of our cities. So, yeah, there's, there's lots to do. Um, Economic-wise, there is a lot to do. Let's do that. Give plus 2 rank to recruiting our, our spears. 
Uh, it might even be a good idea since we're turtling. You know what? Since we're turtling, I'm going to get rid of her archers for now. To upgrade our income. I'll keep her, obviously, because uh, she's very good. <clears throat> but I will get rid of her archers for now. And that gives us two and a half thousand per turn as opposed to one and a half. Um, because most of them are only Chevron rank 2, and by the time we have passed our goal a little bit, uh, the research we're currently getting will give us plus 2 Chevron anyway for newly recruited archers, so we haven't really lost anything. A bit of gold from building them, obviously, but uh, again, we'll make that back. And I think it was it was good to have that extra fire support when we attacked the, uh, the White Tower of Hoeth. Perhaps not, though. I, we probably could have done it without them, so maybe I didn't need to do that. Maybe I did just waste gold. Potentially I did. Because part of the game is, is making sure to balance it so that um, you use the minimum amount of resources required in order to do any given task and that way you maximize your profits and maximize your expansion and maximize anything, everything basically. So minimal use of, of resources and force to get things done you know if you can beat it with an army of 10 troops then there's no need to use 15 but sometimes i don't obey that rule and just go for the overkill because it's fun who doesn't like dominating with big armies we've constructed the promenade excellent that's our 30 influence have two white lines of crace in our army well in that case that sort of determines what we'll be building next with regard to our troops where do we get the White Lions of Kraith from, actually? From this building here, a grove. So we need a level 3 city. I serve the Phoenix King. Shield against the darkness. I feel like, Champion. to maximize our income here, let's send him round to Ellie. So that we can start taxing that province again in order to maximize our income and uh, expand as quickly as possible right now. Let's use that little bit of income. Oh, hello, Nagareth. Good stuff. And trade agreement? Excellent. Because we would also like to confederate with Alethanar, definitely. Uh, he has an, he's an excellent hero. I don't know if it's the if it's the faction or the hero that gets the uh, on a Lithanar that gets the um, perk that allows him to ambush. I'm hoping it's the hero so that I can then get that as Lothurn, but I think it's the faction effect, so probably won't get it. Pass our turn again, and next turn we'll move into Ellie, and then uh, we'll be able to tax that again. Hello. Military access, yes. Anything that makes you like us more, definitely worthwhile. Except from fighting the Cult of Pleasure, yet. We're going to save that and try and get something out of it. Perhaps offer to join war as uh, diplomatic leverage um, for a military alliance, perhaps. So we'll move Tyrion into Ellie. We'll start taxing that again. Good use of our time, I think. Sometimes I think I should potentially just sail away with Tyrion, but I don't like leaving my territory completely unguarded either. And I feel like if I did that, I would. But, you know, you could sail away and attack someone on another land who is never going to really have the chance to retaliate, like the vampires over at, uh, in Breton, in Bretonia. And just sack them for the gold, you know? It keeps us leveling up, it keeps us getting... Keeps us progressing. Ever loyal. It shall be done. Ever loyal. Ready to serve. Into Ellie. It's now plus four per turn, so we can tax this province. Excellent. See, it's, it's not good at all with its negative there. Upgrade this promenade. Try and get this to a state where it doesn't require... A garrison anymore. What the hell? We'll upgrade this as well. We'll just work on our income while we've got the chance, shall we? We've got the uh, 
We've got the turtle time. Let's see if Avalon fancy anything else. Expensive alliance. I will take it with her because uh, join confederation. Perfect. Yes, we should do that straight away. Excellent. Well, that is uh, one hell of an early confederation. A timely arrival. <laughs> That is one hell of an early confederation. My god. That's secured us a lot of provinces, and uh, I'm going to have to delete a lot of this, because we won't be able to hold it the way they are. So we will do public order, and we have White Peak and Tor Anrock for a gold supply. Um, again, we'll just do public order at most of these places. We have a massive army here. Wow, we there's a Lario. Level 15 already. What was she doing? My god. She's just been smashing it. Um, goodness me. That's a fantastic spell. We'll do that. She has not wasted any time. Um, I think we'll get rid of this hero for a start. We can recruit her back later, but um, we need to start working on supply lines just because we have so many armies. Um, get rid of this hero. What do we own? We own everything. We need to get rid of this. We need public order. God, the benefits they have of not having to worry about public order, right? Eh? Evershale even is on minus four. We'll delete this and gain Vale. Um, and potentially this as well. We're going to have to get rid of this army as well, I think. Yeah, get rid of this army too. Can't afford it even slightly. There we go. The Ion. Can we just move you out and keep you? Shadow Mage. And, uh... Yes, we'll keep this Shadow Mage. Treading softly. And we'll get rid of this lady here. And that puts us into positive. And with two spectacular armies. Ilariel's army there is awesome. Um, I might modify it a bit. Although I don't like getting rid of God, gold chevron units. But uh, gee whiz. This is a good looking army. Bring down the canvas. Uh, okay. Awesome place to, to, to end there. Um, I need to pass the turn to save it. Which I'll do in just a second. Public order. I'll just do public order for now because I, oh no, this one doesn't doesn't need public order because it's gate. So we'll do faction wide trade income. Faction wide trade income. Avalorn will have public order there. Nagareth will definitely have public order. Griffin Gate, faction wide trade. Unicorn Gate, faction wide trade. And that is everything. Let's pass our turn there. So, wow, I couldn't believe they confederated already. That's um, awesome. And the best part is we they took everything back for us before the uh, before the cult of um, before the cult of pleasure. I think it is. They took everything from them before before we confederated, so they're not present on the island, so we don't have to declare war on them right now, so uh, wow, yeah, what a position to be in. After only how many turns? I don't even know what turn we're on, but it's very early. Greetings. The Phoenix Court will hear your... uh, yes, I'll do that now because I want to try and um, confederate with them too. And confederate with everyone at this point. Just be easier. I always find it amazing how many armies the uh, legendary AI can support with no economy whatsoever, as we saw there. Puts us into minus 6,000, yet they're able to sustain it, no problem. Uh, Alariel has had a quest issued. Well, there we go. So, 
thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. If you did, like and subscribe. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Turn 31. There you go. We're probably the foremost power in the world. Let's check. Strength tank 11. Not far off it. Definitely have the most settlements though, I bet. Certainly that we know of. Certainly that we know. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe as I said. And comment below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.